Nobody ran. It's still only a Steve Roberts thing that somebody tries to run out the door. Um, I'm thrilled you guys can make it. Talk. It's okay. I'm thrilled you guys can make it. Like we've been trying to, but my fault. I think I had to reschedule no, it I twice. Was like, we were at, yeah. we were at the driveway last time, <laughs> and you're like, no, oh, it's not I today. Oh, I didn't even know. I, yeah, again, yeah, I apologize. No, I now keep a calendar <laughs> because people, you know, I didn't think it would get popular to the point that everyone would want to come on, which is great because I love doing it. But I had to like set up a calendar so that I didn't get this one confused with that one. So we should be good. Um, so anyone who hasn't seen Harlequin, right? I've been to several shows. Give them the elevator, elevator pitch. Tell them what you play, the kind of stuff you do. Like talk about the band a little bit. Um, well, we play, God, we play everything. A lot of um, old rock, new rock, dance stuff, and. I mean, we play stuff, we try to think of things that people will remember when they see it. Go, oh my God, man, that, what a great song. No one's playing that. Exactly. You know, and we try to pull those out. And your crowd seemed to dance the whole night long, no yeah. matter what you put people on. People dance to things we don't even expect them to dance yeah. to well, I liked, so. I liked Hold the Line. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. It's a hard song to play. It's hard on my It hand. is. Yeah. It <laughs> is. And, uh, well, that's why I don't play keyboards. That's ah, why I play drums, because so like, I didn't want to do any of this. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Uh, I liked, um, shoot, now you made me lose my, my train Sorry. of thought. It was, um, I like Midnight Oil Beds Are Burning. I like, oh, that was the other one. Midnight Oil Beds Are Burning yes. was the other one that I really liked, yeah. which I think is cool. Now, you're playing with this whole boy in the bubble thing. Yeah. You're like behind the, the, the thing. It, Not always. Just I've only seen it when it's up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Do you, do you like, do you hate that? Do you not care? Um, no, I don't care either way. I, I mean, I, don't, I know the people in the band like it. Mm -hmm. It's quieter <laughs> on stage. So I'm okay with that. And I know that when we play clubs, where we have house sound, they love it. Oh, because they'll just mix it and do what they want. Because yeah, they, they can, can the get me a better mix. Yeah, um, I'd imagine it all reflects back in your face when you're behind the... It doesn't, believe it or not. Really? Except if I need something, <laughs> and um, I, I need to talk to the band members, I'm like, Karen! Yeah, he's talking. <laughs> Karen! And I'm screaming, right? And they're like doing their thing. Because the shield like, works. My, yeah. uh, my artery, the blood is, <laughs> I need help, you know? And they're, and they're, they're just ignoring me and... You need a talk back mic. Yeah, we yes. do. We you need do. just an in-ear talk guys. back mic. For, yes. Are you guys in-ears or monitors? In-ears. Everybody's in-ears except for Steve. He uh, uses a whip. Steve! Steve, come on! Steve! Steve. Steve. He refuses. That's because Steve is like 22. He's yeah. new to the scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. You'll notice yeah. we don't have monitors on the stage in here either because we're in-ears in rehearsal yep. and we're in-ears in I love in-ears. Yeah. Yeah. I think it makes a big difference when you play how well you can mix yourself yes, because absolutely. the monitors aren't bleeding into the yeah. mix out front. And also your ears don't bleed after the show. There's some of that. So, and you yeah. can do some of that mix yeah. on your cell phone or yes. iPad or whatever. So how are you guys, first of all, how often do you guys rehearse? Um, once a week. Okay, really? Yeah, mostly once a week unless we do weekends, weekends, weekends. If we're doing Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, especially the girls, they'll need vocal rest. Especially yeah, we're adding new songs. So that makes sense. Yeah. Well, there's more than one singer song. out front, right? So you sing yeah, uh -huh. and Brit sings. Yep. And, and Steve, Steve sings. sings. As well. yep. So, and, and is it a pretty even split? It seemed like Britt had the majority Brit of the load. Yeah, she, I think the majority. I think between Britt and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, though, that you're, you're in a position where, like, okay, someone needs a little rest. This one will sing a little more songs. She's very appreciative, I'm sure. That's Every very cool. We kind of throw we like a couple of breaks her. in there for her. We yeah. push her, push her. Because she's, you know, four feet tall. Right, exactly. <laughs> she's know, a so lollipop we, kid. We like to push her, but um, yeah, and then Karen will sing a couple songs, and then we like to push Steve, too, because. You know, he brags about how great he's a singer, so we'll give him like three songs in a row. There you go. And he's you're killing me. <laughs> right, because he's not used to it. I don't know. He's oh, not is used he to watching it. this? He probably is. <laughs> so, how are you picking the new songs? That's well, a good question. We all kind of throw in ideas, yeah. and everybody's mm -hmm. different. Everybody, from James, well, sure. our bass player, picks mm -hmm. songs. Everybody picks songs, and ultimately, I think I would say Steve has the last word because it's his band. He started. Okay, so he runs Harlequin. Yes. Okay. Um, and, and sometimes we have to beg him. Like, he was all okay with Barbie Girl, you know? We were shocked that he was like, I heard girl. you do that and was like, okay. <laughs> Let us do it. That's like one of our biggest who, songs. Who suggested that was Brit, right? I'm pretty sure it was So Brit suggested that. it. And we're, I'm right away. I'm like, mm, I don't know if Steve's going to go for that one, you know? And Karen's like, oh, that was a great song. And Sounds James, great. James, so I know fun. it already. Yeah. You know, James really? knows every song. <laughs> he knows every song. We throw it out there. He's like, learned it. Wow, that's so awesome. You're basically have to convince Steve, let's learn it and we'll play it. Steve has the 80-20 the rule. 80% 80 of the people have to know it. Right. Okay. And then we'll play it like three or four times out live. If we get no response, we, we do the it. exact yeah. same thing. And he's done it with his own songs that he's chose too. No, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, we, we do the same thing. I joke with my band that it's a benevolent dictatorship. Right, because ultimately someone has to have the last say. You do. Or you'll never get anywhere. Right. Someone has to say, okay, well that's it, we're turning left, we're turning right, whatever. So. 
Are you getting suggestions from your crowd, or are you guys sometimes. just walking in? Sometimes. 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 I saw there's no Disney now. Did you see the last band call with Brit? Uh, yeah, we saw we it. We talked about... <laughs> so I suggested the rock version of um, Kiss the Girl from Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. And then somebody jokingly hit you... I don't think they were joking, though. Hit you guys up and said something about, like, something from Hercules, which I hadn't heard the distance of that the one. But the rock version of... Um, Kiss the Girl from Little Mermaid, I could totally see her doing. Yeah, I've seen yeah. a couple of it. The, there's this one band that does covers of rock. Oh, bands. really? I've okay. seen they have a bunch of videos. Yes, yeah, they did so, a yeah. whole, whole bunch of Disney yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they were actually really good. Yeah. I forget their names. So are other people giving band. you suggestions too? They like, do. They, they come do. up and yeah. say, hey, I'd love to hear you do this. I'd love mm -hmm. to hear you do well, that. Well, they say, you know, you guys remind me this song would sound good. And we think about it. We try it, see if it works. We actually thrown a couple songs in yeah. that people have suggested. How many songs you learning in a given month? Well, right now we're working on three, four, four, no, four, five, okay. if we do the... Um, she's not. Three. She's working on three. <laughs> we have three going, a four going, like, actively right now, but then we have more in the hopper. Yeah, we have like, one. Britt, where did you get her? Well, let's she's... go even further back. Okay. How the band started. Cause it's do it. Like, 19, uh, 2000 and... <laughs> 1955. 2006, <laughs> I think, I played with Steve. And what band was that? It was uh, P40. Okay. I had just, I was done with original music. It was an original music, um, an original band called Grumpy, and we did really well, but then it just imploded. Okay. And I was done, man. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I've done this my whole freaking life. I, I need a break. And I became a paramedic. <laughs> so instead of taking drugs, I was given drugs. There you go. At least you had experience. Uh, so yeah, it took a couple of years, but I was actually, I had to get back into the music. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do covers. And Steve, I, uh, Steve's been in this business a long time. Oh, yeah. Every band he's in, it, it's like, it's gold. They, every band he's ever been in becomes super popular. Even his original band, uh, Exit 36, I think they were called. Okay. They had three front girl singers. They were amazing. First time I ever saw them play, we shared the bill at a Calico Jacks. Okay. And I was like, wow, this, where the hell did this band come from? You know? That's cool. I didn't know he was so deep in the scene. Yeah, yeah. And, and they were great. And um, I don't know, that band fell apart like most bands. Well, after a while. Yeah. So, But I kept tabs on Steve, and he had all these great cover bands. I always had great cover bands. I want to be in one. I auditioned for him, I got into the band, but I, I got, my work was really, I was doing overnights. Oh yeah. And um, it was conflicting with the band and I responded to a couple of things uh, at a, I think it was the Drunken Parrot maybe, there was a dude on a motorcycle you know, crashing through into the wall, you oh know, and we're playing and I'm like, I gotta go take care of this, you know, jump <laughs> off. Yeah, sure. And, you know, help the guy until 911 showed up, but it was conflicting, so I eventually quit. And then I played in a couple other bands. But I kept tabs on Steve, and then things got quiet for me. And when to go even further back, when I was living in Boston, that's how I met Karen. We, we played in a band, band together. together. Oh, okay. And we were under um, Tim, Tim Collins, which was Aerosmith's management. Okay. So we played a lot. We were original band. Okay. She hated it. I loved it. I'm like, yeah, hotels, we're traveling. It was great, man. She wanted to be home. And, yeah, well, she sure. hated them. Because original music, like, you rehearse all the time. Bars, yeah. Right, right. You rehearse all the time. Right? It's yeah. a job. It's not just, you know, it's not what just what you oh, see I'm on the you. stage doing drugs, drinking, and whatever you do. But, I mean, the rest of it. Um, I feel like there's so, a lot of doing drugs in your history. You mentioned that no, a lot. No, 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 no. You mentioned no, that a lot. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but she hated it. So, okay. And she's really talented, but she never wanted to be in a band again. So, moving up, I left Steve in P40. A bunch of years went away. Steve's in a bunch of popular bands. And then I didn't hear anything from him. And I heard through Scuttlebutt, I heard through the grapevine that he was looking for a new band to put together. And he had James, our bass player. Um, I think he was, he had the girl from um, Rocketfly. Is the it? Girl uh, from, um, no, from, from Crash, Crash, Rocket. Crash Rocket. Not Crash Rocket. Um. <laughs> Blonde, um, female drummer. Yeah. Jeannie Ashraw? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. Crash Rocket. Oh, okay. right. yeah. Crash Rocket. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, man. I'm too many drugs. So, so that he, she was jamming with them, but I guess they, they were still kind of looking because she wanted to do something else. Okay. So I heard that Steve's looking for a drummer, so I call him up and he's like, I don't know, man. I said, look, you can come to my house. I'll let, just let me, we'll jam a couple songs. Because I had kept in touch with him, and I kept saying, hey, dude, you looking for a drummer? I just got one. And I'd call him up, and hey, Steve, you looking? I just got one. Man, you know, he's holding a grudge. He doesn't like me. Maybe I suck. Nah, I Steve doesn't hold grudges. He doesn't hold grudges. Finally, he said, all right, well, come to your house. We'll audition, but I'm not promising you anything. I said, look, my wife sings. She plays keyboard. She can sit in while we audition. Well, while I do this audition with you and James, she's like, all right, you know, she can fill in the music. So we played, I don't even know what the songs were. I played a couple I songs. I didn't even play keyboard. I just sang. 
Yeah, and he Harvey. literally said to me, okay, you could be in the band. But only if she joins us. There it is, like, package deal. So I had to. I literally think like Karen will only play like once a month. Please, but you have fun doing please. it. It's great fun while we're doing it. It's the before and after that really is hard. Load in, the like, load it's out. It's just like everything. She practices else. all day, all the time. What song were we recently doing? I hated it, the Adele song. Oh. <laughs> before we ever played it as a band, they hated it because it she played it all day. All day, and then at the last minute, Steve throws in, well, let's throw in Purple Rain in the middle of it. Let's mash it up with Purple Rain. She's like, okay. <laughs> I kill you. But um, so I actually had to talk her into joining the band. But it's been a while now. Three yeah, years? four years. Three. Okay. Four. 28. See, oh, that's I don't know. So it's been three and a half years. Yeah. yeah. Since Something they, like that. Since yeah, they, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, and she stayed with the band. Um, and we had another singer in the beginning. Her name was. Steve. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and she was really good. Mm -hmm. um, we got started getting booked right away, and I because Steve has a reputation. Yeah, he has a band. We get gigs. Right. And you know, you've been in this business. It's not easy to book to no. play a lot. No, it's not. So we thought we'd be playing, you know, once a month, and now it's like every weekend, um, which, again, it's a bitter edge, bitter. bitter. Right. There's There's double edged sword. Double -edged. Yeah. Right. Because um, you have no life at all. All you do is play, which is fine and fun and. But, you know, we also want to go on vacations. Our kids are old. We want to do some travel. But, you know, playing is great. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. playing. When I'm on that stage, man, I, I can't even describe it. I can it. tell you love it. I mean, it looks like you both love it. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a lot even... of fun. You and Britt have your little choreographed dances yeah, yeah. going on. And me and Steve have a great time on stage because I only see the girls' butts. <laughs> right. You're like me. I'm stare at all night long. Yeah. You're like me. Long. Thank God James is off to the side. <laughs> right. I, no I, offense, James. I was joking that I should have named the band Dave and the Asses. Because yeah. it's just, you're behind the drums, that's, that's it. Say, yeah. you know. But I do communicate with Steve because he's not quite in front all the time. He's can, you know, we, we we make mistakes and we laugh at each other. And yeah, we have a good time. He throws his pick at me. I can't throw a drumstick because I have a drum shield. You gotta go over it. Yeah. He or you gotta just... drill a hole and mount your Nerf gun in the hole. I thought so of it. I'm telling you, just so you can get him. So, so your other singer Sam left. Mm -hmm. She left. Um, right we were, COVID, uh, it was yeah. right when COVID hit. Okay, yeah, yeah a lot of people did. So yeah. things started yeah. to fall apart, and we were gonna we were doing a show um, that Sam couldn't do, so we needed a substitute. Before COVID, we were gonna do. Um, it was out in Harmony. They had like a okay. farmers market, and they were hired us for a lot of money. I was shocked. We were playing like an hour and a half okay. in the middle of the day, but I was like, yeah, we'll do it. You know, you pay it how much? But Sam had a, a, she had a weird job. She couldn't, every last Sunday of the month, she couldn't do gigs. She did something with her job, inventory, inventory or something. Yeah. So we needed a substitute because they didn't want to turn this gig down. Mm -hmm. um, so we put, a, we went into band mix or what is the thing on? Yeah, band mix yeah. probably. And me and Steve are like going back and forth with all these people. They're either 87 years old. I love it. They put these videos and they From 40 vocals, years ago. And From then you see a picture of them and you're like, nah. you know, it's like, oh my God, this, this person still alive even? Um, so we couldn't find a vocalist, and then we saw this punked out, red-haired, I thought she was like 15. <laughs> Everybody's and I, I sent it to Steve, and he sent it to me. Both of us found her at the same time. And we texted her, or one of us messaged her, because we both take credit for it. And uh, she didn't respond right away. And then she did respond. I was gonna tell you we found her on a rescue puppy site. But right, there you go. <laughs> But as she did respond, and she was a little leery, you know, she thought we were some creepy old dudes. And I said, look, you know. You and then it turned out to be creepy old dudes. <laughs> yeah, well, she was right. <laughs> I said, you can bring your boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever, you know, right, your significant know. other, uh, so you can feel comfortable. And it's in a neighborhood, it's not gated, you know, it's not in the basement. There's no drugs, you know, we don't give you goofies or anything. Just come on. Um, and she auditioned. And we were like, oh, shit. So we, we tried to stay calm, you know, like. Well, give us a minute. Go downstairs while we discuss it. Okay, you're, you want to be in the band? Right. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. Right. And and she's been with you, what, a little over a year? No, it's um, still going two a couple years. years. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, it was 2020. Was when what I like started, is you right? guys are a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. out front. Yeah. The whole yeah. band is a lot of fun yeah. out front. Yeah. Everybody's smiling. Except we everybody's playing. I was just say everybody's <laughs> smiling. And then James in the corner yeah, like. He's, been, he's serious. He's serious. But he is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure he is. He keeps it inside. Though. Postway, our bass player. He totally looks like he's going to kill you in your sleep. And he's a puppy dog. He's having a great time. Nothing. Although, you know, you, you look at people when they make a mistake. So we all, my joke is if anyone in the band makes a mistake, it can be me, whoever. I immediately out front say, Dave Manor, I'll leave guitar. Yeah. I tease our guitar. 
Josue is the only member of the band where if he makes a mistake, he instantly loses all eye contact with all of us. He just faces run. <laughs> like, we know you did it. We heard. Uh, so I'm sure after playing all this time, right, especially with Steve, you've got to have a funny band story. Oh, my God. You've got to have some. Probably too many. Like, G- Give me your favorite. I don't know. You put me on the spot. I can't think of any. We, no, we're very serious. We don't have any yeah, fun. No, no yeah, fun. I can no, tell. No, we don't. Sure. Oh, no, I, I know I Steve got it, also. I got it, I got it. Okay. All right, it's you. All right, so um, we recently, because when we played New Year's Eve last year, mm-hmm. Steve put out there we should do Final Countdown, New Year's Eve. Last, sure. You know, open the last set with that. made what sense. a depressing so we, song. Okay, it was a little depressing. But, um, <laughs> anyway, so we did that, and then he said, oh, we need to keep playing it after New Year's Eve. So our next gig after that was at post time. Oh, yeah, this was okay. um, So uh, everybody but Steve was in on this. Uh, but so we, he plays his guitar in the beginning, and I hit my first chord, and then I whip out the kazoo. Nee, 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 nee. And he was not expecting that. Nope. No, and then Britt pulls hers out, and Buzz pulls his out, and James pulls his. We're all kazooing oh, no. the opening to Final Steve Countdown. Steve was actually, he was like, what the hell? It was perfect. He, he seems like he would be a lot of fun in a band. Yeah, yeah. he is. He, is actually. he rehearsed here with another band years ago. Um, I don't remember who it was, but he rehearsed here with another band, and he was fun then. So I was glad to see him put something together, get back out there. You guys are you, you guys are playing Friendsters now too? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Right. this month, May twentieth. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. So there you go. So you can catch these guys everywhere, right? Because yeah. you really are playing like every weekend on the band. We do. We like, feels that way, yeah. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here, which is awesome. I'm glad it's going so well. Um, I'm glad you could finally fit in into a band crawl that I didn't screw up the schedule for, so that's awesome. If you haven't seen Harlequin, what are you waiting for? Get out there and check the band out. This weekend, Leo's? No, Garage Bar. Garage, Garage Bar, sorry. Yes, Garage Friday, Bar in Saturday, St. Cloud. Yep. Cool bar, uh, really cool venue. The crowd, it seems like that crowd really likes music. Yes. Like, yeah, they get heavy band. into the music. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a great place to go check Especially them out. Especially after 11. Yes. Packed. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah, I, don't, I can only imagine. They have a cool... Um, uh, food truck out mm-hmm. back. Too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's usually the same one all the time, but every now and then they rotate. With That's a cool idea. Ones. So they don't have their own food; they just have a food no. truck. Out they back. have a little couple of items inside, like in a thing they can make. But the That's food very truck cool. out back is the yeah, it's a great bar. That's and very cool. Great prices on the drinks yeah. too. I mean, well, you gotta be careful because most of us are gonna have to drive home. That's true. Yeah, or it, Uber. Or Uber. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, yes. I'm not advocating getting drunk. Don't even listen. He's like a derelict. <laughs> like just, just ignore it. Thanks again for doing it. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Check out Harlequin. You'll be glad you did.